If you were to say to someone that that was a whopping 217 square foot four bedroom apartment, they would probably scream, I didn't realize it came that small. What is up everyone? I know it has been a long time since I've done one of my famous rants and it has actually been brought to my attention. So I figured there is no better time than the present because there has been a major event in my life and I figure this is something to definitely be ranting about. And you're wondering what it is? Well, I'm happy to say I finally canceled my membership at Fitness Evolution. <laughs> you heard that right. After seven years, I finally canceled my membership at Fitness Evolution. It used to be called Gold's Gym like seven years ago and it is the most crowded gym in the city I live in and I figured a big reason why I canceled my membership is no more post-workout blues. Plain and simple. I often felt like I was back in high school in that gym. They had a lot of equipment. It was a great gym but for me it just felt like I was back in high school. So I like to look at it this way. I have just graduated from high school meaning I now go to smaller gyms. I try to find an environment where I can really hone in on my workout, get into a, uh, a good rhythm, focus. And so now I go to these smaller gyms. So it's essentially like graduating from high school. There are so many awesome things about going to these smaller, more humble gyms. And one of those being, you don't always feel like someone's watching you, especially in a really crowded gym. It's like, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Tell me this is just a dream. I always feel like somebody's watching me who's playing tricks on me. I always felt like someone was watching me at Fitness Evolution. And so, ah, uh, the freedom I get from finally having graduated from Fitness Evolution, AKA high school. So that's the thing, when you're looking for a gym, don't get me wrong, Fitness Evolution is an awesome gym, and if you're one of those that got a flamboyant personality, and you're out there ready to mingle with confidence, hit it up, because it's one of the best gyms. And aside from that, uh, if you're more of those who are really kind of trying to improve on your well-being and such, then I would recommend a smaller, more humble gym, like the one you're seeing here. And I forgot to also mention that this particular room here is actually used for fitness classes. So it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting setup. But uh, finally, finally free from being back in high school. You may be wondering what was up with that introduction mentioning how people may scream if they found out four bedroom apartments came that small. Well, I'm now in the main fitness center of that uh, studio I just showed you guys. And this is one of the uh, few gyms that I work out at. And I wanted to give you guys a little tour of this particular gym because believe it or not, it's actually bigger than my four bedroom apartment. And I just kind of want to start off by showing you guys this equipment storage room because this room here is bigger than my bedroom. That's right, each, each of us who share this four bedroom apartment, this room is bigger than our own rooms. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Now on to the rest of the tour. So a fairly spacious fitness room for people to do their workouts in, utilizing the equipment we have back in the uh, equipment storage room back there. Then we go down the hallway here, um, women's and men's uh, showers. And they actually do provide towels here, which is pretty nice. And then we got some more equipment here. There's a couple of fan belts over here that you can use for exercise. Awesome way to get a good workout in. You can name it the fan belt routine. <laughs> and then here is the main exercise area. <laughs> it is, I mean, you may be screaming, my gosh, the equipment is so ancient. But fret not guys, it's not all about having the most expensive or luxurious equipment there is out there. It's about being able to go to a gym where you can get an awesome workout, not be distracted by music you're not wanting to listen to. You can pick whatever music you want to listen to here. And with enough imagination, you can come out with an unlimited amount of different routines. The sky is the limit. Uh, this is definitely a much better gym. And it just kind of goes to show that you can have that awesome feeling of what it's like having life after high school. 
I forgot to mention, they even provide coffee, and it's caffeinated coffee, not that decaf garbage. It's actually full-on caffeinated coffee. Now, I feel it's only appropriate that I give you guys a couple of demonstrations on utilizing some creativity and how you can get an awesome workout in. And I'm not gonna go through the entire routine because that would just be too long, but I'll kind of give a description and show you guys an example of uh, such routines you can do at such a gym. So folks, let's say you're new to exercising or you're looking for a way to get an awesome, complete body workout with some cardio on. Well, what you could do is you could do each of these machine weights and let's say I'm gonna start off by doing some chest press. I'm gonna do this for a specified number of reps. So like, I'm just gonna, just do a few here, just to demonstrate. Feeling that burn, feeling that burn. And then once I'm done, I will come over to this treadmill, which is already set to a predetermined speed that you feel comfortable hopping on and off at. And I would do this for a specified amount of time. Feeling good, feeling good. Getting that burn on. And then I would hop off. And then I would hop on to the next piece of equipment that I'm using. I would do my uh, specified set of reps and then I'd hop back on the treadmill. And that is one of many awesome routines you can do at such a gym like this. It's pretty cool that this gym actually has what are called balance pods. Awesome for working on balance. And another routine you can do is uh, an upper or lower body or a combination of the two utilizing a TRX. So an example could be, you're gonna do four laps through this little obstacle -y course, followed by say two sets of 15 reps of a particular exercise, recover 30 seconds, four more laps through this obstacle course, and then two more sets of 15 reps of a different exercise. So I find that it is now time to give you guys a little bit of a demonstration and maybe include a little bit of hot dogging in there. All right, time to work on some balance. And throwing in a little bit of hot dogging in there. Ski moves. Hot dog in. Anyone want to join in on grabbing a hot dog after I'm done? Oh yeah, and two sets. I'm just gonna do one set of ten. Keep the we get that two line video. We got two line video. Work up that appetite for a good hot dog and maybe add some style to it and make it get into it. Chili cheese dog! And there you have it. One of the many, many different routines you can do at such a gym. I thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out. It's time for me to get myself a delicious hot dog.